Um, afternoon, everyone, and thank you for um, attending this post-match press conference with Ireland coach Heinrich Milan. Um, just a reminder to please wait for a microphone um, before you ask your question, and please put up your hands so that Craig will be able to um, indicate that you can ask. Thank you. Oh, and reminder, no photos and videos in this room during post-match press conferences. Many thanks. Hi, Heinrich. Um, hi. Uh, that looked tough work out there for the, for the batters. I mean, what are the players saying? Are they reflecting that, you know, winning the toss really is crucial in these games in New York? Yep. Um, I guess if you look at them, you know, the way they bowled up front there was obviously pretty challenging. Um, we had to change our, our game plan a couple of times and unfortunately it just didn't go the way we wanted it to work out today. Uh, sorry, down here, Nathan Johns, down here. Heinrich, a lot of talk coming into this about the, the kind of blueprint of reassessing and maybe trying to elongate depending on the conditions. How did, were you, are you satisfied with the assessment that went, out, when, that went on and, and how game plans did change or do you think there could be improvements there? Yeah, look, I, uh, Mike Tyson said any, any game plan changes you get punched in the face and I think there was, you know, there was some serious bowling out there. I think they've got three or four serious quick bowlers, which we've seen over a period of time can perform at, at this level. Um, and look, look, we, we communicated well, um, but it's, you know, it's one thing talking about it, it's another thing executing it under pressure when you know, there's, there's some quality that's coming down at you. Were you expecting that much, and, and so late in the innings, that much sideways movement and uneven bounce? Look, I, I guess we saw it in, in, the first, uh, in, in the game a couple of days ago. Try to do as much homework as we can, even though we weren't at the ground training or, or seeing the, uh, you know, playing on the surface. So, you know, we spoke to the groundsman. Um, obviously, the scores were totally different in that warm-up game that was played on that surface. Um, so we weren't necessarily expecting it to, to behave like it did. But, um, again, we've got to be better with our execution of our skills, and that's obviously something we'll reflect on. To what extent is it minefield of a pitch? You haven't seen it before, and now you've seen it? Or to what extent do you talk about shot, shot selection and, and things like that? Yeah, maybe a bit of all of the above. Um, but at the end of the day, look, we got a quick turnaround. Um, you know, it was obviously pretty tough work out there today, but um, we've played some good cricket over the last little period, and, and we've got plenty in the bank to withdraw from that. Oh, just wondering, just an extension of the previous question. Uh, do you consider this as a 96 all-out pitch, or do you do like to put the blame on the batters? Maybe. Uh, so, what is your overall assessment of the pitch you have got today? Look, I guess when you look at T20 cricket, you, you want to see runs and um, boundaries, isn't it? So you, you can make your own conclusion whether it's a 96 wicket. Um, at the end of the day, you've got to try and do things well, which, whichever way you want you do them, whether it's bat or ball first. And uh, we'll obviously reassess you know, the way we go about our business over the next 25 hours with a quick turnaround and um, look to be a little bit better on Friday. So just the gentleman here, the brown jacket. Yep, yep, you're right, brown jacket. Hi, uh, I know it's too early to reflect on lessons learned, but uh, how easy or difficult is it to adjust to playing here in these conditions? And is it very different than what you've experienced before? Yeah, um, it's, it's tough to adjust when you don't know what you have to adjust to. Uh, like I said earlier, unfortunately, the, the way it's worked out from a scheduling point of view, you know, today was the first time our players saw the ground. So uh, we were trying to be as diligent as we could in terms of our preparation work. Um, but obviously, we've got to, you know, try and take everything we've learned here in the last 24, uh, in the last five or six hours, into the next 24 hours, and make sure we get that right on Friday. Thank you, James. James. You're okay. It's the south. It's the phone is stuck. Oh, you have to ask. Sorry. Uh, actually, I'm asking you one thing. I know the Ireland score a very low score here, but just asking you this pitch, the work, how it works, and what maximum score you think a team can make here? Yeah, look, when we were finding it really tough, we were we were talking about if we can get to 130, 140, um, and if we can back that up in, in, in the execution of our skills from a bowling point of view, that's probably where we were looking at to try and get to at one stage. Yep. Gentleman, the striped shirt is there. So, uh, looking forward, what kind of a pitch would you like to practice before the next one if this is the kind of uneven bounce? Yeah, I don't think it's about the training, to be honest. I, I think it's more, you've got to take into account that 
when, when you play the game, you, you need a, a really good surface, or you, as good a surface as you can get. Um, and unfortunately, the, the, what we've seen over the last couple of games just doesn't necessarily live up to that. So hopefully, um, you know, over the next day or so, it can hopefully flatten out a little bit and we can see some good cricket come Friday. Hendrik, uh, a World Cup comes around once in a while and, uh, and we've seen the other World Cups are shrinking and this one was a great opportunity where we have 20 teams playing. Uh, it's a great chance for you guys to, sh to show yourself at the biggest stage. Do you expect better conditions and better logistics for a World Cup? I think we just want to see good cricket, don't we? Um, it's, it's the pinnacle of our event and um, it doesn't have to be 200, play 200 all the time. It, it just needs to be an equal contest and I think if you look at today, it, it is debatable where that was. Uh, Tim from BBC. Uh, hi, Rick. What have you made of the pr practice facilities? We've been we've been hearing kind of rumours that they're not quite up to scratch. That pitches aren't aren't particularly great. We know that South Africa's players didn't have their bowlers bowling to their batters. So, what what's your view of of them? So, in your experience so far? Yeah, look, we had a tight turnaround. Um, we we were out there as long as we could and as as hard as we could to to create a training environment that set our players up to try and perform today. Um, you know, so you, if you, wherever you travel around the world, you not always get the, the perfect conditions to train in. And I guess that's the mindset that we've had around it. Um, we get on with it, we don't worry about it. Um, and, you know, try and be versatile and adaptable. And, and we've spoken a lot about that. And, and hopefully as, you know, we keep talking about it, we, we keep showing those attributes. It must be frustrating though, because it's, it's your head on the block here and it's your, you guys who are being judged. And if the facilities aren't up to scratch and your players aren't properly prepared, you know, how does that leave you feeling? Yeah, look, it's, it's not just our jobs to, you know, coach the players, it's creating an environment, it's lead the team, it's, so, you know, from that point of view, we're trying to do that work in the background too, around creating that environment that is, um, you know, versatile and agile and, and gets on with the job, um, and hopefully when we get to surfaces like these or situations or conditions like these, then our players are ready to, to change and adapt and, and execute their skills under pressure, because ultimately that's where it needs to happen, across the line. Last question, Nathan Johns at the front here. Just because you talked about competitive balance, I'm pretty sure India have been in here, and you say this is the first time you've been in. Do you think that's fair? Say again, sorry? I, th I think you talked about competitive balance before and preparation. I'm pretty sure India have been in the ground before today, and you said you guys haven't. Is that frustrating? Yeah, it's obviously not ideal um, when you think, the yeah, first time we took some catches today was when the, the guys were warming up. So look, it's not ideal, but uh, that's not an excuse. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We speak about being ad ad adaptable and versatile, and, and you know, that's with the way we're going to look at it. We want to keep those controllables under our thumb, and if we can try and do that, you know, hopefully over a period of time, that's the sort of versatile cricketers we'll create. Thank you very much.